to help you get more powerful results on very professional looking results, Cyberlink has included Audio Director with Power Director 11. Uh, audio Director is going to handle the audio spectrum of your videos as well as handle audio, of course, itself. Taking a look, brought up, first thing we're going to do, let's uh, import a piece of media in order to work on. Use an AMD FX8150 unboxing video uh, for a start. When you bring it up, naturally you see the entire spectrum here of the audio. And down in your left hand corner, you actually get a look at the video itself, so you can follow along there as well. Now, once opened, first thing I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cut a piece. As you see up here, we've got our traditional cut, copy, paste, delete, and crop. And also add a timeline marker. You can upload clips to Director Zone as well as Produce, which is actually going to change the output and save it as a different file with all the changes you've applied. But the first thing I'm going to do right now, I want to get rid of this uh, very intro piece just because it is a silent dead piece, as you see, so we can concentrate on the audio. I've simply selected the piece using the selectors. And I'm simply going to hit the delete. And we've got that piece gone now, so we're actually going to start now right at the beginning of the audio. Since to fruition. So, going down. This is our adjustment menu. As you can see up here, we've got Edit, Restore, and Mix. We're starting in Edit which is going to be our adjustment menu for the audio. Adjusting audio, first thing we've got and that we see is fades. We can actually fade in and fade out. You can adjust the length of your fade in as well as the initial volume and the curve of the fade in itself. Using a straight fade in, as you see here, with an initial volume of 50%. You can also fade out exactly the same controls for your audio. Uh, preview the adjusted audio, we can get a listen. It's been almost two years in the making since Bulldozer was announced to fruition, and today we're going to get our first look at AMD's new FX series processors. To what the fade-in is going to sound like. We can adjust that down, as you see. We can then apply our fade-in, and as you see, we get distinctly a change in the graph itself. And on playback, it's been almost two years in the making since Bulldozer was announced to fruition, and today we get the distinct get our first fade look in. at AMD's new FX series processors. We got now we'll get rid of the fade in, put everything back to normal, and now we'll go to trim audio. Uh, very interestingly, we can just take select a piece of audio we don't like. Uh, for example, if we start here. You get a listen to fruition, and today we're going to get our first look at AMD. Maybe we want to get rid of this entire paragraph right here. We can do that and remove selected part. You can also remove everything else. Keep just this selected part if you want to use it for something else. Your mark in, mark out times are right here. We'll apply. Now going back, you've got a seamless trim right there. To fruition, we got the review kit shipped in a very large black box. Allowing you to trim out any pieces of audio that you don't want. We can adjust the length of the entire track. Uh, very helpful, for example, uh, if you do a voiceover, which you don't do along with your video. This is going to allow you to adjust the overall time of the voiceover. Uh, say you've got, for example, this is a 2 minute and 37 second video. Let's say your video is uh, about 2 minutes long. We can now adjust the length of the entire voiceover to 2 minutes to match up. We'll apply it. Now you can also keep your pitch. So you're not going to get that sped up chipmunks type sound. Uh, you will hear a speed up, but it's going to stay in the same pitch. It's been almost two years in the making since Bulldozer was announced to fruition, and today we're going to get our first look. Which is going to allow your audio track to coincide with your video uh, as far as length. And a quick undo. And you're right back to where we started with our 
2 minute and 37 cent, uh, second track. Now, pitch adjustment. We can adjust pitch of any part of the audio we like. We can bring it up to an adjustment up of 3. in the making since Bulls Lizard was announced to fruition and give you a little bit more of a chip monkey type sound or if you like we can bring it down and give you a little bit more of a goth sound well, two years in the making since Bulls Lizard was announced to fruition and today we're going to get our first look at AMD's new FX series processors we'll see Undoing that brings us right back to normal. And we'll move down, we can insert a silence. If we want to pause right here, as you see, insert a silence of one second, and silence is inserted. Now on playback, to fruition. And today we're going to get our first look at AMD's new FX series we've got the silence installed. And unfortunately I forgot to undo our pitch. So now we're going to take out that silence simply by deleting that one second piece of audio. We can insert noise, normal, pink, or brown. Normal is actually white noise, which is what most of us are used to hearing. So if you want static for any reason, insert it without a problem. Fruition. And today we're going to get our first look at a... And you've got a static insert right there. And finally... we've got a reverse effect. We can reverse the entire audio clip. By applying it, everything will play in reverse. In which case you'll find out that I was actually saying Paul is dead through this entire track. So if you have a reason to reverse or just want the effect, obviously it's there. Now moving down we can apply some effects as well. You've got a dynamic range control. Uh, probably the most useful thing here, you've got a limiter which is going to limit the amount of output. going to bring down the dynamic range a little bit. If you've ever had uh, the situation where you've got one part much louder than another, uh, you can actually limit it a bit. So you, what you've got isn't um, top of the top volume limiter. Compressor will equal even at your sound a little bit more. And one of the most useful here is the gate and expander. Uh, if you've got a little background noise, for example, in this video, I actually happen to have uh, some background noise from a fan. We can bring this in, bring up the threshold, and bring up the ratio a little bit, and we'll actually lose the background noise from the fan without affecting the actual vocal track. And today we're going to get our first look at AMD's Now you can hear the vocal, uh, you probably processors. can't hear it in the video, but the, the fan is gone from the background. Very... Now going to the effect down here, as you see, you find it listed, you can turn it on or off, or delete it at any point. Simple equalizer with presets, obviously to equalize your sound. The radio effect actually kind of interesting. Uh, you can make any po uh, portion sound like it was recorded through either AM radio or old time radio. Applying then playing back. Two years in the making since both of was announced to fruition. Gives you an AM type effect.
phone, kind of interesting. You've got an on the phone and on speakerphone. So if you wanted to have a dialogue in your movie that appears to be on the phone, you actually could select certain portions of dialogue to make it sound like it's coming from a telephone. In the making since Bull Blizzard was announced to fruition. And today we're gonna to get our first look at AMD's new FX series processors. We got the Obviously, interesting effect. Now we've got delays and reverbs. Obviously, delays are going to make you sound like you're in a big... It's been almost two years in the room with a lot of reverberation. And today we're going to get our first, our first look, look at AMD's new FX series process. Obviously, your dry out and wet out. Your dry out is your original signal. The wet out is the, re uh, the delayed signal. Feedback, trash and your spread, which is the amount of delay as well as the length of delay, are available. Reverb, you've got sparkle, room width, room size, and you can preview it at any time. It's been almost two years in the making since both of We can really jack it up, uh, a lot of sparkle, make the room very large, and you'll get a distinctly different result. Blizzard was announced to fruition, and today we're going to get our first look at AMD's new FX. And finally, vocal removal and music, uh, aka karaoke. We can take out, I'm actually going to do it uh, in this movie just simply because of the fact that it works very, very well, and you'll get to hear exactly how well it works. Since Blizzard was announced, look at AMD's new FX Excellent vocal processor. removal, uh, especially if you do want to do some karaoke, it's going to work very, very well. Now that is the uh, edit portion. We also have Restore. Now Restore is really uh, made for bringing music from other formats uh, such as LPs, cassettes, whatnot, into the digital spectrum. You've got a visual repair. It's going to allow you to do all the repairs and bring everything up to snuff. Uh, noise reduction is going to allow you to get rid of clicks and pops. Clip restoration, high quality restoral, and uh, just a simple click removal. So if you are doing vinyl, it's going to get rid of clicks. Last place we're going to go is to the mix. Now, we're going to have to import into the mix we're going to work on, once again, our AMD FX8150 unboxing, since we are concentrating on the video aspect. Now, using the mixer, what we can do is add other effects. We can mix sounds together. If you want to add some background music, uh, you can open up a music track, add some background music. Let's um, take a look here. Also, we've got effects. There's a sound clips library. Very complete one that comes with uh, Audio Director. As you can see, 87 clips. You've got environment sounds, ambient office crowd, etc. Um, you've got work, daily, home life, alarm, broken bottle, broken bulb, door, people, crafty laugh, cries of the Indians, hand clap, instruments, animals, mockingbird, monster roaring, musical jingles, transportation sounds, car skidding, screeching horn, engine starting, sports sounds, weapons and machines, and miscellaneous. So, really quite a bit there. Um, let's see, since we're working on the FX8150, let's add uh, the disappointment sound here. We're going to bring that in, import it, and we're going to bring it uh, right down here for placement. Now you can also work on this individually. You've got you can import uh, for recording, you can mute the track, enable it as a solo track, adjust the volume or pan it left and right. We're going to adjust the volume a little bit since I know already off top that this track is a little bit loud and it will work with points. You can bring it up or down at any point and then listening to our overall track since Bull Blizzard was announced to fruition, and today we're going to get our first look at AMD's new FX series processors. 
And you can add it right into the mix. View kit shipped in a very large black box. You could then move it wherever you like. If you want to add another one, we'll just bring in, say, um, the Boeing track. And maybe pop that right in the place we previously had the disappointment and see what that's going to sound like. To fruition. And today we're going to get our first look at it. So that's really going to allow you to do some uh, interesting effects and really give you a nice finished product um, that you're typically not going to get in the audio with most of the suites. Really very, very powerful. Now, once you've finished with your mix, your edit, save it. You're going to produce the audio or produce the video. You can save just an audio track or save the entire video track. As you see right here with all the presets that you would expect to find in producing the video. Now, another interesting part of this is um, the director zone. You can download, once you've uh, installed, you can sign up for director zone. As you can see, I'm signed in up here. You can sign out or sign into director zone. Once you're signed in, you'll have the ability to go to director zone and download further sound clips. <clears throat> Currently there are 3, 337,858 free effects available. So you can see drum and bass applause. It just goes on and on and naturally you can search for effects uh, as well. So you're not limited to what you have. You can also upload your own effects uh, and share in the community. Obviously with that many effects the community is very strong and going well. Uh, taking a quick look up top get your file, new audio file, new project, open a project, import media, download sound clips, import a VST plugin effect, uh, you can open recent tracks, save your project, save project as, produce, share on director's own, export audio to power director, exit, in your edits you've got your undo, redo, cut, copy, paste, delete, crop, and split. You can add timeline markers or remove timeline markers. You can add audio tracks, delete selected tracks, or delete the video track and all of your preferences. Very simple preferences uh, within the program. Your internet preferences, file preferences um, with your sample rates, bit depth, and channels. Project preferences, director zone preferences as far as auto sign in and audio settings uh, which is actually for any input hardware uh, if you're using capture or uh, typically a microphone. And your view will give you a waveform view, spectral frequency view, single channel, multi-channel, keyframes or effect list view. Save, undo and redo and shortcut to your settings. So Using the uh, audio director, you can actually get very professional results, really going well beyond what we've seen from most of the director suites previously. Um, it's really a great looking program, very powerful, very easy to use interface, uh, definitely worthy of inclusion in the very fine director zone, or uh, I should say power director suite.